Welcome to our channel, where we explore cutting-edge technologies that push the boundaries of creativity and innovation. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Aniportrait, a revolutionary framework for generating photorealistic portrait animations driven by audio. Aniportrait utilizes a unique combination of audio input and a reference portrait image to generate stunningly realistic animations. But that's not all. It also offers the ability to perform face reenactment using additional video footage. Imagine being able to animate a portrait simply by providing an audio clip and a reference image. With Aniportrait, it's not just imagination, it's reality. So how does Aniportrait work its magic? Well, it's all about leveraging state-of-the-art machine learning algorithms to analyze the audio input and synchronize it with the facial movements of the reference image. The result? Seamless integration of audio-driven expressions onto the portrait, creating animations that are not only visually stunning but also remarkably lifelike. But wait, there's more. Aniportrait also opens up new possibilities for face reenactment, allowing you to overlay the expressions from a separate video onto your chosen portrait. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep exploring the possibilities of tomorrow's technology today. Let's start with the installation on Windows. So open the folder where you want to install. In the address bar, type CMD. This will launch the command prompt. First, we need to clone the repository. So copy this command. Use right click to paste and press enter. Cloning process is complete. Now we need to navigate inside the folder. Next, we need to create the virtual environment. So this is the command that is used to create the virtual environment. Paste the command and press end. Virtual environment is created. So now we need to activate the virtual environment for that. Copy this command, paste and press enter. You should be able to see VENV. Now we need to install the requirements. This will take some time to install. While the requirements are being installed, we need to download some pre-trained weights. So these are the weights that we need, that we need to download in the pre-trained weights folder. So navigate inside the folder. This is the folder we have to put all of these files, which we need to download from these links. Make sure to follow this guide. So first we will download the weights, which should go in the root directory these five files so to download this make sure you select the files and versions and start downloading them so i will copy this path use this download file button to download these files Let's wait for the download to finish. The files have finished downloading. So this was the easy part. Now it's the tricky part. So now we need to create the folders and then download the files. The first folder we need to create is image encoder within pretend underscore weights folder. So navigate to the folder. Create a new folder, image encoder. Now open this link image encoder 
and it contains two files config.json and pytorch underscore model dot bin so download both of these files Put in that folder. Image encoder. Now repeat the steps for the remaining ones. So create these folders and download the files. So this completes the downloading all the pre-trained weights as mentioned in the guide also the requirements have finished downloading so next we will see how we can use this tool one of the steps mentions that we need to have one pre-trained model like a stable diffusion version 1.5 if you have already downloaded it you can specify the path in the config file if you have not downloaded it open this first link navigate to files and versions and then download one of the pre-trained models so i will try with this pruned safe tensors version and you can place it anywhere I will put it in the stable diffusion version 1.5 folder. This tool does not come with any web UI, so we will have to use the command line options. So type CMD in the address bar and press enter. Each time you have to activate the virtual environment. Copy this command, which is mentioned in step four, paste and press enter. This has activated the virtual environment. Now, if we look at the web page, they have provided some samples. So we are going to use it to see how it works. So this is the command. There is a config file which are created as a reference. So let's look at one of the config file config files can be found in configs prompts folder so we'll use the first one animation.yaml so here they have specified the paths and here we have to specify the input files so the reference image will be solo.png which can be found in reference image folder so inference reference images 
is the image. Next, they have specified the pose, solo pose and pose videos. We go to pose videos and this is the pose. So let's try this sample. Copy this command. You can also use the copy button here. Paste it in the command prompt and press enter. So this needs the config file. We have to specify the width height and the length of the video we want to create. I also encountered few errors. So there was one error, which is the assertion error. If you also face this error after the installation or while launching this command, you need to paste this command in the command prompt after activating the virtual environment and press enter. This will install the correct version of Torch. Second error that I faced was that when we download files from Hugging Face, it prepend the folder name in config.json like the downloaded uh, config file name was images underscore encoder underscore config.json so you have to go and manually rename it to config.json so better approach is when you are downloading just check the name and rename it there so that you don't have to carry out this step again so let's wait for this process to finish and we will review the output so the process is now completed we will now review the output 